Hello everyone, my name is Yukimik and uh, we're gonna resume our uh, journey into the sea. We are trying to survive on a freaking wood raft after a major flood this, that uh, actually destroyed the planet completely. We are now basically alone. There has been many survivors because we found the we were gonna we, oh, no, 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 don't turn my freaking raft. I, I actually should let uh, the raft turn all the way around, you know, maybe it was, it would have been better. We managed to survive a major flood with our uh, dude. But uh, the world is uh, completely under the water, there is no more land left other than uh, some uh, few islands. And uh, my guy is gonna try to... he's trying to survive this major, major and amazing flood. What am I doing right now? I'm trying to kind of complete the layout of the raft because uh, uh, after that we'll kinda, we're gonna be able to do some more of the advanced uh, work on the raft, you know? I kind of want to do this uh, as fast as possible so we can go over the the building of the raft. Anyway, I need to make walls. I need to make a lot of other interesting stuff. But uh, at least for now, I kind of want to finish this uh, giant square that I just made with all those uh, pike noses. <laughs> yeah. So I need a lot of plastic. Surprisingly, sometimes I'm missing wood sometimes I'm missing plastic. This time I'm missing the plastic, which is quite annoying. But we are on the path of the debris. The debris gonna start to come into our raft. So we're gonna be fine. Actually, it's not uh, that big deal. We're slowly putting up like uh, one uh, foundation at a time and we will eventually end up uh, doing well, way well than we do to right now, you know. We are melting this uh, freaking metal like crazy. the things start to come into our nets. We actually have quite a good amount of uh, this stuff. Vine good or whatever they call this. This is seaweed and this is vine good. Okay. I don't think my guy is gonna run slowly because uh, of the fact that he's uh, wearing the flippers. I am not entirely sure, but might be the case, who knows, you know? Okay. Did we catch more stuff? Yes, we catch more stuff. Great. And more stuff will come, actually. We are getting there, <laughs> slowly but surely, you know. Not that much plastic though, so I 
don't know why, but we didn't get that much plastic. Mainly wood and leaves, but no plastic. We also have quite an interesting amount of uh, rope. <laughs> I mean, I literally have quite a lot of rope. that maybe in the general direction like that maybe we're gonna catch more plastic since <coughs> the only thing that I'm uh, actually missing is the plastic right now There is a, a lot of debris over there. Okay. We have quite a few pieces of metal in here, actually. Oh my god. what we already have in the nets and I'm gonna catch this barrel using the hook nice all this stuff will probably end up into my raft let me see yeah they will all of them will end up into my into my nets see easy I should probably steer this a little bit more like that. There is also a floating raft over there. Should probably go for it because uh, that might help me with some uh, interesting and important materials. This raft is actually huge, I mean literally, it's quite huge. <laughs> so let's uh, continue in here. I think I just did this perfectly. I think I just did this perfectly. No. I just did this wrongly. Completely wrong. Okay. Okay. Now, uh... Let's rotate this like that, like that. Okay, so... Should I rotate this a little bit like that? 
and let's try to get the things that are on this uh, little raft over here. Do I have room? I have. Take the crate. I took a ton of rocks. I don't even know if I will ever need all those rocks, but uh, what can I do? So I'm gonna drop the rocks in here. Okay, you may go there. You may go here. You may go there. Where shall I put all this clay? I think I'm gonna place it in here, you know? And the sand too. And the clay there. And I still got more clay. Like that. You may stay like that. Great. And uh, let's drop this. Eat this. Let's collect all the resources that we are that we got into the nets, and keep uh, doing co the construction things. Okay. Seems that I might actually need uh, one more row, so I can make this perfectly symmetrical. So I will definitely destroy this one, and I need like two more nets actually. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. More of those freaking rocks. I hate them. I just hate them. <laughs> I think this is actually the final uh, expansion of the raft. I need more uh, plastic as usual. But at least uh, I kind of finish up the, the layout, the length and the uh, width of the, of the raft, you know. There is some plastic in here that I'm kind of 100% that it will not end up into my freaking raft. Okay. But it might end up into my hook. Okay. I think I kind of used all the raw materials. Yeah, I don't have any any of them left. So you may go there. You may go there. Let's uh, count the numbers. So one, the spikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And here one, two, three, four, five. 6 and 7, so it's perfectly square. <laughs> so it's actually perfectly square. But uh, there is still something wrong in here. So in 
we need uh, this guy and then uh, this guy like that and then uh, this guy like that see perfect now it's even on both sides is the perfect square I initially didn't want it to make a square but uh, what can we do I just end up making it perfectly square and this not my fault entirely, you know. Oh my god, so much freaking rope. I got so much rope. So there is nothing left to melt, so I'm gonna drop this and I have, s I kinda need these guys on my inventory. Another freaking rock. You may go here, and I will probably need to make some uh, of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, the rope is actually disappearing <laughs> like in instantly. Rotate, and here is going to be a regular foundation like that. We are catching quite a good amount of resources. I think I made one net that I actually don't need. To, I didn't need it, you know. Oh my god. And uh, I can remove it actually. And do this like that see and I think that's it for the raft this is how it's going to look like I think I have enough nets I mean the the ones that I already have left I'm gonna keep it in case the shark eats some of them so I can replace them you know it, that's that may be a pretty good idea and Everything else is to actually start uh, enclosing this uh, freaking giant square. And uh, I have to figure out because I need to make rooms. I don't know which one will be the face, but if, since it's a square, it actually doesn't matter that much. Uh, because uh, we can actually sail on all directions so not a big deal I kinda want to make more into the middle in here because uh, I have to start uh, making some rooms separate rooms into this one so one will be farm one will be animal pit. I guess the farm and the animal pit will go something like uh, above floor, you know. I'm gonna make one floor where uh, I'm gonna put my command center. <laughs> well, I don't know how to call it, but probably command center from which we're gonna sail the raft into different directions and there is a, then there is a, an engine room or I don't know where you place the engines now we can uh, we have engines we have a rudder we can actually steer the boat which is freaking uh, amazing yeah no so that should be my focus right now to complete uh, some of the middle part of the of the raft you know but for that i also need a ton of uh, plastic so 
I'm catching quite a good amount of resources right now. I don't need to <coughs> wait long for uh, longer for materials because I'm already getting them pretty damn easy. And I also got a ton of uh, potatoes and red beets. Isn't the red beet uh, the company that makes this game? I think it is. <laughs> Okay, we are starting to collect quite a nice amount of actual resources, you know. So, let's continue doing what we are doing best. I'm gonna need like 1 million freaking plastic and wood and stuff like that. Because uh, the raft is going to be quite huge in size and uh, it seems that I, no matter how much plastic I got there is never enough you know okay I see you you are aiming straight for this Funny part is that you didn't actually manage to eat that much from it because I was close and seeing you eating it, you freaking donkey. <coughs> so let's keep uh, continuing making the middle section a little bit larger. We also have quite a lot of uh, scrap metal, but uh, when I'm gonna start building pipes and stuff like that, that will, m will mean actually nothing, you know? That will mean nothing. I'm gonna destroy the, the that scrap metal. You, you need so much scrap metal for all shit that uh, I kind of have into my into this raft. I don't know how much free space should I let uh, outside the enclosed compartment where I'm going to make uh, my... I don't know how to say it. Where I'm going to live and make all those compartments for all the stuff that I'm gonna get, you know. The far back side over there will be like four engines and biofuel react reactor or generator and uh, all that kind of stuff. I think the front part in here will be maybe smelters and something like kitchens and stuff like that on one side and the other side and do the others. And above that above that part here another room for the steering wheel and for the like the command center of the of the raft you know where i'm going to put the radar and all that uh, the antennas and stuff like that but it will take some time until i'm gonna be ready to get there you know because uh Right now, I'm doing this uh, boring thing of collecting materials, and we kind of have a decent amount of this raft that it's uh, going to be, and I'm gonna probably start enclosing and close some of it with walls. Don't know what wall what type of walls I'm going to do. I'm probably I'm gonna do the the ones with the window. I can use this for a better uh, effect. They look way, way, way better. The ones with uh, leaves, you know, the green ones. But 
these ones. They look amazing. I think I have enough room for uh, like making, letting just uh, maybe three rows. I'm gonna expand this three rows of or four like that. Isn't this enough? I guess it's enough. Yeah. So this is how it will all begin. So I'm gonna use Windows because uh, you actually have to be able to see all the all like 360 degrees around you. The full walls are also better, good, but uh, they are more expensive also in uh, leaves and uh, other materials. So. I'm not sure how this will actually end up, but uh, it will probably gonna look uh, quite good. The anchor is the main issue because you can't place it on an upper floor. Uh, you actually need to be down on the water and it's not only the anchor, there are quite a lot of items that needs to be in direct contact with the water, you know, below. So that means... Uh, that uh, there are some uh, particular items that needs uh, to be close to the water. That kind of sucks in a way, you know. So, yeah, I think like this is enough space outside the enclosed part of the raft. I have to move this stupid anchor somewhere. And I guess I'm gonna move it like temporarily somewhere around here. Let's. Uh, can I actually move it? Okay, I can. So let's take it like that and place it in there. And then uh, put a foundation over there. Yeah, I guess this is going to be one of my last uh, videos in which I'm working hardly on a raft because I think it's gonna it's quite boring for you guys, and I'll probably do this off camera and trying to finish up the the raft. It will be better for all of us. And uh, I'm gonna resume uh, recording when I'm actually finishing uh, most of it, you know? Because uh, I don't want you to, to feel uh, bored. But uh, you know how grandy this, uh, this is. And at least I'm gonna, I just managed to give you an idea on how boring this might be. <laughs> okay, I was right on time on you. Okay. We fix that. And we also need to start uh, making some of the advanced stuff. S something like this receiver. We need to make some electronics, which I think I can actually make. So I need vine good and copper ingot. Let's just do that. Uh, at least is something else other than uh, no. You where where in here? And you may go here. And you also may go there. And they need some vine wood, which is in here. So let's make one circuit board. And then come over here and learn the research this and learn the antenna, the sprinkler and the receiver. We're gonna once we place this we're gonna get uh, larger islands and we're gonna be able to get some dirt and then uh, we're gonna search this and catch animals and learn everything else that it's about that it's uh, needed to be learned. I don't know what is going on with these blueprints. 
Do I actually... Can I put it in here? Research. Oh, it says research. So you can actually... And then and uh, so they are kind of useless now. I guess I can place them on the walls for a, a better look of the of the raft. Th I was thinking that might look better with those on the walls. Other than that, there is nothing else left for me to do right now. I'm gonna keep some of the leaves because. Uh, I will badly need them for the walls. So yeah, we actually did quite quite a good progress in uh, expanding and building the raft. So I'm gonna do the rest of the construction of camera guys because, as I said, I don't want to actually boring you. And I will gonna st I'm gonna return with. Uh, a major uh, construction project so thank you all guys for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye